How's it going, everybody? Hope you all are having a wonderful day. We're going to start off this video kind of interesting. Um, please make sure to stay tuned throughout the whole video. Uh, we got some exciting things to go. Right now, it is currently 8.30 in the morning. Um, I'm dressed for work, but we are going to go to Sames with my parents to go check out a pretty cool vehicle that they were able to test drive yesterday. And we'll see if it's going to be a hit or miss for me. Um, we also got the unit in R7 uh, radar detector. Um, as you know, I ordered a S650 Mustang GT with the performance pack and it is going to be quite quick. So I want to make sure I'm able to stop before I catch a cop. So yeah, guys, um, we're going to be doing a review on this. I'm not sure if it's in me on this video or the following video, but stay tuned because this is pretty pricey. So let's see how good it also is. I want to say when they were test driving uh, the car yesterday, uh, they were able to pick up my sister's Bronco. Uh, she ordered it and luckily they were able to get it because there is a strike coming up and yeah it is a big ben uh the bigger bronco with the hard top and it is really nice so yeah guys we're gonna be heading over to the dealership right now uh see what they have in inventory test drive that car that my parents were able to test drive and uh give you all kind of a review on it and if you should buy it or not know, uh, my parents bronco um right now is having a weird sound going through it they have been known to have uh, faulty uh, transfer cases, so we're gonna take it in on Monday and uh, potentially even get a new Bronco as well. They ordered one, but due to the strike coming up, I don't know if they'll be able to get it. And if they are gonna be able to get it, uh, that's gonna be pretty sick. But we will see uh, what they're gonna tell us there at Sames. Uh, so right, guys, um, we are gonna be cleaning out this Bronco because my parents told me that um this one's gonna get traded in for that raptor that y'all saw it's a gray one that i showed earlier in the video so right now we're gonna be cleaning this bronco out and we're gonna be trading it in on monday i believe when they come back so just gonna be doing that getting everything out of it um and also uh we installed some uh door handles like on top here for my sister's bronco they're actually really nice they go there uh you can see the bolts where they go so that way you're able to grab onto it because it is kind of tall that's why it does have the steps and uh, my sister's doesn't that's why we added it but yeah guys uh, the raptor is badass fully loaded got to see it they really recorded but once we get back over there i'll show y'all when they're finalizing the paperwork how cool the raptors really are fam here we got my sister's bronco we got my other sister's bronco and then we got the raptor right here um pretty cool i really like it uh third gen raptor fully loaded got the active valve exhaust uh bed liner box shocks as well got this thing with uh three miles on it pretty cool really nice love the decals on this thing it's really sick uh, moving forward onto that, I just want to announce a few things that are happening right, right now. Yeah. There is a strike happening at 12, it looks like, uh, because Ford and GM and Stelletta, the union workers are going to stop uh, production on the cars. And that might, that might, that might, um, you know, mess up the plan with the S650. So we're going to see what's going to be happening tomorrow. I'm going to go to the dealerships, see if my build got done because it wasn't production. Uh, it wasn't. It was getting painted. I already got the chassis built. It was getting painted, and I just want to see if it's already gonna be ready to be shipped, or if not, we're gonna see what we're gonna get, or if we're gonna get a loaner or one of those things. So uh, we'll see tomorrow morning when we go to the dealership. Right, guys, uh, good news: we got confirmation that uh, my Mustang probably will not get affected uh, with the strike. It already happened. Um, it's happening right now as we speak, but. I do believe it is on uh, transport, so we're just gonna have to wait till it gets here. Now it's just a waiting game. We were able to take out the Raptor yesterday and it was pretty sick. Uh, you gotta mess with the active valve exhaust and all the other good stuff. And I wanna say it's pretty quick, pretty powerful. And I like that as uh, the paddle shifters. The Mustang should have that, I believe. Um, 
obviously has the Brimble brakes and all that other good stuff. And yeah, we're right now we're just seeing uh, some decals we can get for the Mustang and other stuff on that. But I really like this color. Uh, we had a F-150 that looked similar to this, but obviously it was a XLT. I'll put a picture of it right now. So yeah, guys, you can see some of the similar uh, similarities that it has and some differences, obviously. Like I said, this one has the Fox shocks, uh, all the other good stuff. This is a decal that I do want to get for the Mustang. And it's going to be this American flag right here. I already ordered some in gray. That way it can match with the car. Because I, I really do like that, the decals that the Raptor has. And also my sister uh, ended up, like you saw earlier in the video, she ended up getting some tint. It looks really nice. I really like it. I really like the color too. Uh, it's really nice. It really stands out. Moving on from that, uh, I do want to test out, you know, a Scat Pack and a 2SS or even a Corvette if I can. Um, just to see around the power range that uh, the Mustangs is going to have. You know, obviously they already raced it, they already dynoed it. it. A Scat Pack and a SS cannot compete versus the Mustang anymore, which is pretty cool. I'm pretty happy about that. And um, so, yeah. Looks like a uh, C8, um, C63 AMG GT, not the GT, a C63 AMG, uh, Audi RS5, and I believe an M3 is around uh, the competition for the S650. So I'm really excited on that. But uh, we're going to see if we can test drive those cars that I talked about right now and see how powerful they are. All right, guys, um, we're going to go right now, me and my dad, uh, we're going to go uh, see a Scat Pack, a uh, Challenger, and a Charger uh, compared to a Mustang and maybe even a Camaro if we have the opportunity to. Um, but yeah, right now we're in the Gen 3 Raptor. It's pretty sick. Uh, how do you like it compared to the Bronco? Wow, it's a different, it's totally different. Um, this, is, this is a different Mustang. Jack is that way, in the wrong way. Sorry. <laughs> That's fine. But yeah, um, love it way way better than the bronco the bronco has features that i like but when it comes to trucks this is the pinnacle the top. pinnacle yeah it's not the r but as far as everything it has it's just missing the, the drive two but yeah. it has enough horsepower 450 horsepower features are amazing the ride is crazy so the fox shocks the truck. Yeah. obviously we're ford fanatics um been driving Ford for a, for a good minute, but we'll see what's up with the Dodge. See if they're quick or not, you know, they're not, but we'll see. All right, guys, we're here. Uh, we're gonna go test drive the cars real quick. All right, guys, we just finished um, driving a 1320 SCAT. We were also working some numbers with a wide body. Um, now we're gonna go to Ford to see uh, their Mustang. They have an S650 there, GT Premium. Pretty nice, doesn't have what I opted for, but it would be a good comparison uh, for a 2023 SCAT pack to a 2024 uh, Mustang GT. See how it feels and how it drives. I really like the SCATs, the interior, Alcantara, uh, leather, all that other good stuff, heating and cool seats, paddle shifters, all the, all of it, the whole nine yards. Um, but now it's time for the Ford. Let's see what happens. This one, no. You wanna check it out? Yeah, we're in the S650 Mustang. Uh, pretty cool. I gotta lie to you. I can't tell, to be honest with you what interior looks better um the challenger or the charger i mean the challenger or the mustang to me they're both uh pretty good just uh we'll see how they both feel you know
can tell like the like the the weight difference already. Yeah, you can. It's a, you can feel the the. Yeah, like where, where what was it? Where kind where of where? straight right? You keep going straight. Yeah, okay. just watch. You yield here to traffic if you yeah. have to. Uh, do you have a sport mode? What mode yeah, do you have? Do you have a sport? Mode. Okay. I was gonna put it in track, but I feel like track isn't a. Yeah, yeah that would be like an. Yeah. 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 You're gonna stay straight all the way yeah, to Shiloh. Straight. Yeah. Go ahead. Be <laughs> That's a responsive man. 5.0. First thing is probably going to end, I think. I don't know. Yeah, sure. Can you see? Yeah, I can see. Okay. Should I turn up? Yeah, I have to. You got to yield here, so be careful. Or, or yeah, <laughs> or floor it. You're going to stay down. Stay down? Yeah. We're going to get on the highway coming back. Just I can see this lane. You can see this lane. It's just going to do a turnaround. Yeah. You feel like, obviously, since the bigger, the Challenger felt like. Felt heavier. Felt heavier. No, no, but like, I'm just saying, like, it. You felt the torque. This one, you. You feel it. I just think you haven't, you haven't really just hammered it yet. Yeah. I think you, you, you went, but you didn't go. I, 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 felt, I felt this one just, we moved faster. I felt some torque, but I don't know. I felt. And this one, it should have adjustable steering where you can change your steering setting to a normal sport and all that. Yeah, yeah you can do a turnaround, then you're going to get on the highway. When you get on the highway and it's clear, you can go ahead and. Yeah, I just I don't want you going oh, yeah, 100 either. Exactly. Just I want you to get that acceleration. Cause the, I mean the challenger, I didn't really gun it too much. Cause I was kind of nervous. Okay, well, hold on. Well, I don't know. Yeah, go ahead. Right, guys we just finished test driving it as y'all saw i really like it it's pretty quick pretty smooth i can't not complain about it uh we're gonna go back home and then we're gonna discuss what i liked and what i did not like about it all right guys i want to go over a few things one i really did like the scat pack i really did um i do like um ford and shelby but scat pack is really nice i like that big 6.4 uh liter v8 it's pretty cool um I do like that um, it has some good packages. You know, it was a 1320. It was pretty cool. But other than that, there wasn't really too much on it. Like uh, driving the Mustang. The Mustang was one, shifting way nicer, shifting way smoother. Two, um, I felt like I can control it 100%. And also three, the interior for me, the screen, you can't go wrong with it. I mean, it's, it's pretty cool, um, especially this new technology. I know it's a 23 to a 24, but that is the last call um for the scat pack so it is going to be a good comparison but um i have to go with mustang guys um the acceleration was you couldn't compete the scat pack couldn't compete with the acceleration it was a fun drive you know if you do have one that's pretty cool um props to you but i'm gonna more than likely go with the route of the mustang because better bang for your buck is what all i can say Obviously, you can build a scat pack, but um, it's easier to build a coyote. So, I personally think that the Mustang is better than the scat pack and everything. Handling for sure is uh, performance, faster, like I said, better acceleration. Looks, I would have to say both are very, very good. Um, I got my dad's opinion and he liked uh, the Mustang better. The Scat Pack, like I said, there's no hate on the Scat Pack. It's really nice, but like I said, acceleration, 
looks, performance, handling, all that, you're going to want to get a Mustang. But yeah, guys, hope you all enjoyed this video. Like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications, all that good stuff. And next video is going to be quite a surprise.